This is a lesson for multiplying by 1, by 0, and by 10. Now, these are probably the three easiest numbers to multiply with. And so let's look at the rules for these ones. So over here on the left, we've got uh, a rule for 0. So when you multiply by 0, the product is always 0. Simple as that. Doesn't matter if the 0 is the first number or the second number. Doesn't matter what the other number is, it's always going to end up being 0. So we have 5 times 0, that equals 0. 0 times 12 equals 0. If I had 0 times a million, it would still be 0. So 0 is always 0. Then we've got multiplying by 1 over here. And the product, the answer, will always be the other factor. Now remember, a factor is a number. So um, when we multiply by 1, it's the other number is the answer. So here's our example. 3 times 1, that equals 3, because 3 is the other number. Um, in this case, 1 times 18 equals 18, because 18 is the other number. If I had 1 times a million, it would equal a million, because a million is the other, other number. And if I have 1 times 1, it still equals 1 because both of them are 1, so you just take 1 as one of the other numbers. <clears throat> then over here we've got multiplying by 10, and multiplying by 10 is a lot like multiplying by 1, only instead of just taking the other number, you take the other number or factor and add a 0 to the end. So for example, if I have 6 times 10, then this is the other number, 6, and I just put a 0 right after it to make it 60. And then I have 10 times 14, so I take the other number that is 14, put a 0 after it, and it equals 140. Now, um, we have a small reminder here, um, because you're going to be solving problems in your assignment. And when you're solving problems involving multiplication, you always have to write the multiplication fact and then solve it. And these are multiplication facts right here. Uh, 1 times 18, that's a fact. 10 times 14, that's another multiplication fact. 0 times 12, a multiplication fact. And then the solve would be the answer. Okay, so uh, we've got an example down here to do together. And then uh, on the back, you'll do it by yourself. So um, the question says, Marie made French crepes for her friends. She put one crepe on each plate. Marie used six plates. How many crepes did Marie make? Now, if I'm not sure um, what this might look like, then I can draw a picture. So I drew six plates, and then if I drew uh, one crepe on each picture, and those are, we're just going to draw smaller circles for those. So I put one on each plate. Now how many, how many red circles do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that means I have six crepes. Okay, that's my answer. I need to write a um, multiplication sentence for that, though. Or multiplication fact, I should say. So, um, look at our numbers. She made crepes for her friends. She put one crepe on each plate. She had six plates. So those are our two numbers. We know it's multiplication. So we go six times one, and that equals... Well, we know the rule. 1 times anything is that other factor. So this is going to equal 6. And then we write our sentence. So Marie made 6 crepes. Next question says, Marie had 5 empty plates. How many crepes were on these plates? So I could draw another picture. So it says she has these plates, but then she also has 5 empty plates. And it wants to know how many crepes are on these plates. But, but they're empty, so there are no crepes on this plate. So our multiplication um, fact would look like this. So we have five plates times zero crepes on them. Now remember, anything times zero equals zero. So we can write our sentence. So zero crepes were on these plates. And the last one on this page, C says, Marie made many crepes and served them on trays. She put 10 crepes on each tray. Marie used three trays. How many crepe crepes did Marie serve? 
So we can draw a picture again to visualize. So we know that she has three trays and 10 crepes on each tray. So if I draw one tray, two trays, and three trays, and I know there are 10 on each, well, if I'm not sure, I could add 10 plus 10 plus 10, or I could multiply. I know these are my two numbers, so I go 10 times 3 equals, and remember the product is the other number with a 0 added to it. So 3, 0, 30. Okay, so that's how you would solve that. Now you've got on the other page, you've got a practice, which you need to try. So it says Mark makes waffles for his family. He puts each waffle on a different plate. Mark uses five plates. So it's very similar to the example. The three questions that you need to answer are, how many waffles did Mark make? Uh, Mark has three empty plates. How many waffles are on these plates? And C, Mark has 16 trays. He stacks 10 waffles on each tray. How many waffles does Mark stack? Okay, so those are the three that you need to do. So pause right now and then play once you are ready to watch the video and the answer. Okay, so now that you've solved, um, let's see if you've got the right answer. So first off, how many waffles did Mark make? So I drew five plates because it says he uses five plates and puts a waffle on each one. So, um, just to visualize, we can draw a waffle on each, whoops, each picture, each plate. There's my waffles, and so we know we have one waffle on each plate. Our two numbers are five and one. Um, so, we could write our equation, which would be, for our multiplication fact, one times five. So one waffle and five plates, and that equals five. Okay, down below, Mark has three empty plates. How many waffles are on these plates? So we don't put any waffles on here because they are empty. We need to know how many waffles are on there. Well, there are no waffles. So we can write our fact, which would be three times no waffles. So three plates times no waffles, that equals no waffles zero. And the last one, Mark has 16 trays. He stacks 10 waffles on each tray. How many waffles does Mark stack? So we would write, we could have 10 on each one of these, and we continue that, but it would take more time to multiply this than to use our um, multiplication, or it would take more time to add this than it would to use our multiplication fact. So our, we know our two numbers are 16 and 10. So we go 16 times 10, and remember our rule with uh, multiplying by 10 is take the other factor and put a 0 after it. So 16 and a 0 after it equals 160, uh, 160. Now, I forgot to write all of my sentences, so let's go back and do that now. So here's my sentences. Mark made five waffles. For A, B, zero offers. <laughs> zero waffles are on these plates, and C has um, Mark stacks 160 waffles. Okay, so your assignment is um, on page 88 and 89, and it is 1 to 4, number 6, and number 8 to 9.